One of the major talking points in the weeks and months heading into the 2014 NFL Draft was just how good the wide receiver class was and how good the wide receiver class was going to be and just how could, could that 2014 rookie wide receiver class be. And, you know, I was on board with this. I talked about just how deep and how talented and how loaded this wide receiver class truly was. And I think one thing is for sure, after 12 full weeks of the 2014 NFL season, it is safe to say that this rookie wide receiver class has largely lived up to the billing and perhaps even exceeded it. And I do think it's interesting and a fair question to raise already about whether or not this year's rookie wide receiver class will be the greatest single wide receiver draft class in NFL history. I mean, you're talking about star talent at the top, depth throughout, low round picks, undrafted players all contributing in big ways, and you're talking about still several other talents for one reason or another that really haven't gotten an opportunity yet, that when they might get that opportunity, they can make that class look even stronger than it already does. I mean, this rookie wide receiver class is something else. This rookie wide receiver class is special. You just start off with the first rounders. You had a total of five of them. You've got Sammy Watkins, Mike Evans, Odell Beckham Jr., Brandon Cooks, and Kelvin Benjamin. Now, granted, Cooks is out for the year already, but you saw what he could do in his time. All five of these rookie wide receivers that were taken in round number one have delivered, have at least lived up to expectations, if not exceeded them. All five of them. They've had moments where they've been incredible. Not only have these been guys that have been able to play or been able to start, these are guys that have been able to start and make huge plays and be big-time difference makers and be real impact players right out of the gate, right out of Jump Street. An incredible, incredible output. Usually wide receiver a lot of times is a position where it takes guys a year or two to learn the ropes and start to really contribute. And usually you'll have a couple of the first-round wide receivers or you know receivers taking the first two rounds kind of bust out in terms of being bad and just being a washout. Well, that's not the case at this point. All five of these wide receivers, Watkins, Evans, Beckham Jr., Cooks, and Benjamin, all look like they're going to be big-time, long-term studs in the National Football League. I think part of the fun about it is long-term is going to be who's going to be the best of this crew. And will it have even been one of the first rounds? I mean, you look at this at this point in time. Watkins could end up with 1,000 yards receiving. Odell Beckham Jr., who missed several games this year, has a chance to be a 1,000-yard receiver. Calvin Benjamin is going to be. Mike Evans is going to be. Cooks could have potentially been if he would have been able to play a full season. I mean, these guys are just incredible. And I'm only talking about the first-round picks. Even when you go into the second, third, and fourth-round guys, Jordan Matthews, a guy that I thought was a first-round talent, has very huge on coming out of Vanderbilt. Now, he's getting more opportunities. He seems to have a better rapport with Mark Sanchez than he did Nick Foles. And now you're talking about a guy in you know somewhat limited duty that already has 686 yards and seven touchdowns. You know, through actually, in his case, 13, 12 games, yeah, 12 games of this season. This is a second-round pick. Allen Robinson, second-round pick for the Jaguars before he went out for the season with an injury. He had 548 yards receiving. Jarvis Landry, another second-round pick out of LSU for the Dolphins. He's been everything as advertised. He's been a legit wide receiver. Devontae Adams of the Packers, another second-round pick, has shown at times what he could do and what he could do down the road. A guy like John Brown out of Pittsburgh State, who I really liked, coming out of Pittsburgh State, but I thought the Cardinals reached mightily in the third round to get him. He's been a big-time difference maker. In fact, I think he's been more of a difference maker than a Brandon Cooks was for the Saints, and I would argue in some ways almost a bigger difference maker than a Sammy Watkins was for the Buffalo Bills. And then you throw in somebody like a Martavis Bryant, who was taken in the fourth round out of Clemson by the Steelers. You know, the Steelers, as dumb as they could be sometimes, they eventually realize he's about six foot four. he can run, and he can jump. Let's throw him the ball a few times a fucking game and see what happens. And he already has six touchdown catches on the year in limited action. And it even goes beyond that. Look at undrafted receivers like Taylor Gabriel, Alan Hearns of the Jacksonville Jaguars. These are guys that have shown some flashes, and these are undrafted players. So you've had the talent at the top is all produced mightily, all looking like they're going to be long-term, big-time impact players. You're talking about guys 
picked in the middle portions, rounds two through four, that are contributing, in some cases, contributing very mightily. Undrafted wide receivers stepping up and contributing as rookies. Imagine that. And then you know you can talk about some of the other big name talents that were taken that really haven't contributed all that much yet. Some of them have a little bit. Some of them haven't had that much of a chance. Guys like Marquise Lee, Paul Richardson, Cody Latimer, Josh Huff, Dante Moncrief, Bruce Ellington, Kevin Norwood, even Robert Herrick contributed a couple of things. You know, these are guys that could be future contributors down the road. Imagine how much better this class is going to look than it already does. As great as it looks, as much as it's already lived up to the billing and the hype. If even like three or four of those guys that I listed as potential future contributors, hell, even two of them end up being starting NFL wide receivers. Let's think about that for a second. When I look at previous NFL wide receiver draft classes, I think about classes like 1996. Those guys like Keyshawn and Marvin Harrison and Eric Moulds and Terrell Owens, the class of 2004 that at that time was billed as maybe the greatest wide receiver class of all time. Uh, you know, that class had Larry Fitzgerald and... You know, a guy later on in the draft that was undrafted, actually, in Wes Welker. But it also had some notable flameouts, guys like Reggie Williams and Rashawn Woods and, you know, Michael Clayton, what have you. That was a class that looked like it was going to deliver the goods and be that type of special class, maybe be the greatest ever, but it just didn't end up being. You know, Fitzgerald's going to be a Hall of Famer. Wes Welker's going to be one of those players you at least remember. He was very good for a number of years. But this 2014 wide receiver class, when you look at it, you sit there and you say, Sammy Watkins, stud. Mike Evans might even be better. Stud, stud. Odell Beckham might be better than both of them. Stud, stud. You know, Cooks is a stud. Benjamin, when he's on, he's a stud. You know, Jordan Matthews has all those stud characteristics. Just so many of these guys look like they're going to be complete and total studs, and many others of them look like they're going to be solid NFL contributors for six, eight, or ten seasons. I think it is a legitimate thing to believe already at this point in time that this 2014 rookie wide receiver class will go down as the single greatest wide receiver draft class in NFL history. I think there's no question in my mind about that. Too much star power at the top, too much talent throughout, and even at this case, as great as that class looks, it might already look like the greatest rookie wide receiver class of all time. It might even get better as the next year or two goes by. It's scary. All future wide receiver classes are going to be measured up against this 2014 wide receiver class. That's how good this class is. Question is, which one of these guys is going to end up being the best of the lot? Which one of these guys is going to be the best of the bunch? That's the debate, and that's the question. Are any of these guys going to be Hall of Famers someday? If so, how many of them? How many of them do you think are going to be pro bowlers? How many of them do you think are going to be all pros? You know, just a tremendous wide receiver class. When you can already find yourself asking those questions, you know how good it is. And in my opinion, I do think it's fair to say, and I do tend to agree, that this class will go down as the greatest wide receiver class in a single draft in NFL history.